Hello again, Catherine Little Hale Oki here to talk specifically about Happy Valley Phonics Book 3. Um, first, I want to uh, talk about what's a bit different about this book um, compared to Happy Valley Phonics Book 1 and Phonics Book 2. The main differences are that um, <clears throat> there's no audio, there are no stickers, um, because we don't think that students need them now. Uh, we're now turning the focus to students uh, writing the words and reading the words, and we don't think that they need that, uh, that uh, support uh, anymore. So uh, what we have replaced them with are cards. And these are perforated so that you can fold them and uh, tear them out. Um, and students get a copy and of course teacher has a copy and there are large teacher flashcards available on the website um, at happyvalley.tv so you can go and download those for free. Um, as with all of our books, there are targets in the back, but because there are no stickers, instead, once they can achieve the target, they get to color it in, all right? So that's a bit different. The uh, other difference is that um, Happy Valley Phonics Book 1 and 2 have nine units. Happy Valley Book 3, uh, Happy Valley Phonics Book 3 has 10 units, and then it's followed by review. So some review pages. So there are no focus pages uh, in this book. Um, and I'll explain why. Each unit has uh, six activities. So that's also a bit different from the first two books. Uh, you have four activities over these two pages. And then finally, two larger activities that take up the full page. Um, in units one to five, the focus is consonant, vowel, consonant, CVC words. Uh, unit one is dealing with words that have the vowel A, okay, so fan, bat, map, uh, map all right. Um, and uh, unit two is the E words, okay, words that have an E in the middle, etc to unit five, so A, E, I, O, U, or I should say A, E, I, A, A, shouldn't I? Since we're not doing the alphabet, we're doing the uh, phonemes, yeah? Um, the way that these activities work is that here we use the fun animal as an anchor for them to write the letters, or the, the yeah, the, the letters uh, to build the word, and they can then sound it out, and there it is. Uh, down here, they're doing the same thing, but in this case, this vocabulary is new. So these three have come from the vocabulary uh, in Happy Valley Phonics Book 1 and 2. These three are not in Happy Valley Phonics Book 1 and 2. These are new words, okay? So they build them here. They build them here again. Then here, it could be any of these six words. Uh, that they're going to find the three letters, circle, and then write the word. And over here, they're going to find all the words, all six vocabulary, in a word search. And over here, they're going to write all of them. Okay. So your students will probably be sitting there doing a lot of mm, 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 and then writing and ah, ah, and writing and p, p, and then writing. So you want students to be talking out loud. Um, or if they already have it, uh, as they're, if they've already internalized it, that's great too. They can write uh, that way. Um, <clears throat> so units one to five are all laid out like that. In unit six uh, through unit 10, the focus is going to change to onset rhyme work. All right, so in this case, unit six, we're using the rhymes an and app. So onset would be like with the rhyme being an, so f and fan, okay? And of course that rhymes with pan and man uh, and can. Um, so what we've done is we've taken known words and they're gonna sort them here in activity A, 
down here, they're going to sort them again on the uh, rhyme train. So this is the and train and this is the app train. So they're going to write the words with this rhyme. Um, <clears throat> and then over here, they're going to get a, some new words, okay? So man and cap have not been uh, taught in previous books or units, but they're going to use their uh, knowledge of the rhymes of fan and map to build a new word. So m and man, right? And k app cap. So they have rhyming words uh, to uh, play with. Then down here, they're going to match the words that rhyme. And finally, here they're going to circle the word, and over here they're going to write the words. All right. And they're slightly obscured, so they have to think a little bit. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, the examples, for example, here, fan is circled, here it's written. Uh, in this first unit, unit six, there's an example, but in unit seven to unit 10, we take that away because uh, hopefully they have remembered how to do the activity. And if not, of course, you're there to help them. Um, after, there are some review activities, uh, which starts here with looking at the picture, <clears throat> connecting the letters, and then writing them to create the word. Okay, so like that. Review is a large word search. Next review is just writing it cold, seeing the picture and writing it. And finally, a crossword, down and across. Okay. All right, um, so this, uh, <clears throat> this book, uh, as I mentioned, 10 units plus review. Uh, flashcards are in the back, and you can also download the large teacher flashcards uh, from happyvalley.tv. Um, and I think that's it. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to email us and uh, we'll get back to you with uh, some answers as soon as possible. Um, so yes, thank you very much for watching the videos and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Bye.